Hi, and welcome to the Acoustic Sample Sunbird Overview video. I am going to present the general features of the Sunbird library. Each of them is detailed in the section videos. This should give you a good idea of everything you can do with the Sunbird library. The Sunbird library is based on the 1962 Gibson Hummingbird acoustic guitar. We sampled many playing styles on every string to reproduce most aspects of a real guitar playing with an advanced strumming script and other user-friendly features. We sampled it with three different sources, a stereo pair of DPA microphones, a Newman U87 and using a contact pickup. This gives you three different options to shape the sound of the library. You might know the GD6 acoustic guitar library and its strumming engine. Well, we decided to go a step further and improve the realism by adding features that make playing guitar on a keyboard even easier and more realistic. Let's start with the basic strumming. Left hand and right hand are separated. Just like on a guitar, the left hand triggers the chord, the engine recognizes the chord, converts it to real guitar voicing, and then all you need to do is use one of the triggers to either strum the chord up, down, mute it, or pick any of the six strings. Using a combination of all that helps you create convincing backings. You even have the choice to use a pick or the fingers for every playing style. Here is just a sneak peek at the chord hammers feature. We don't enable it by default because it requires a more precise playing. But with a little training, you can play left hand hammer-ons and pull off inside of a chord. Every aspect of the chord can be changed. The speed, the position over the strings, and many other things that will be detailed in the strumming video. Recognizing a chord is made through a database of thousands of standard chords. But what if you want to use your own? Well, we thought of that, and you can edit every chord and even add new ones. This, for example, helps making the Amarons very easy by setting two very close chords and going from one to another. If, like us, you are not a keyboard wizard, we created the Song Builder. In here you can assign a very complex chord to a single note and do that for every chord of your song. Playing your song is just a matter of pressing one note at a time. The standard chord progressions by mode are available as presets as well as a few songs. But what if you have a C major and a C minor 7 in the same song? In this new version of the Song Builder, we added the possibility to also choose the root note. Meaning that you can have up to 12 different C chords if you want. So, now the left hand is taken care of. But what about the strumming? If you don't want to play the strum up, down and mute yourself, we created the patterns. 
there is a set of over 70 patterns that automatically strum the chords you selected at the tempo of your sequencer. You can control the groove and the velocity of the whole pattern, as well as the speed, the length, and how it is triggered. You can assign a different pattern to each of the 13 triggers for the different parts of the song. Seventy is great, but we figured why not have more? Here comes the pattern editor. We will detail the patterns editor in another video, but here is a quick one to give you an idea of how easy it is to create one. Now you can create your own patterns, load the factory presets, export and load your patterns so you can share them with other users and increase your pattern collection. Of course you can play the Sunbird in solo mode. A powerful Legato mode allows you to create realistic hammer-ons, pull-offs, as well as slides. The position on the neck is calculated automatically depending on what you play, and you can force it to play at a certain position. That's it for the overview video. You can learn more about each feature on the section videos. You can get the Sunbird library from AcousticSamples.net. Thank you for watching!